Is this the best gear drive in the electric skateboard industry? Let's find out. First, we need to understand the difference between the three gear drives that are mostly used in this industry. The first one is the spur gear drive, or also called stray cut. The second one is the helico, or helix. And the third one is the herringbone, also called double helico. The benefit of the spur gear is that it's easy to design, easy to manufacture, and it has a really good efficiency. The cons of the spur gear are it's not as smooth as the other gears and it tends to be loud at high speed. The benefit of the helico is that it's smoother and quieter thanks to the angle teeth that works more gradually and also it lasts longer because it has more teeth in contact the whole time. The cons are it has an axle load which needs a truss bearing because of these also generate more heat and also it's less efficient because of that. The benefit of the herringbone gears is as smooth and quiet like the helico thanks to the teeth angles. They last longer like the helico again because they have more teeth in contact at all time but also have the benefit of the spur with uh, having no axle load which means more efficiency. The cons are it's very hard to design and it's also very hard to produce. And this is the only reason why this gearbox, even though it is probably the best gearbox you can get, it's not widely used because of uh, the high manufacturing cost. What are the main applications for these three gear drive? The spur gear is used usually in racing engines or uh, high performance uh, uh, small engines like motorcycle and the reason is they don't really care about being loud the service it's pretty frequent as well and they're cheap to make the helico gears are used instead in uh, most common cars and the reason is because they are smooth quiet and they last long The herringbone gears instead are used more for big engines where you want to have really high power transmission and very low servicing time. As an example, what they use is a steam turbine. Now that we have an overview of the, the different type of gearbox, let's have a look how these work. Once the gearbox is on the table, you can start opening the gearbox, removing four screws. So let's do that and let's see what's inside. This gearbox in particular has been used for almost a thousand miles uh, or just over a thousand Ks. So let's inspect also what the teeth look like. So what you wanna do when you inspect the uh, gear drive you want to make sure that the teeth in the big pulley are still all intact, they're all there, and they're not deformed. And in this case, they still look beautiful. Let's recap the three gears that we just talked about here on the whiteboard. Starting from the spur gear, or also called straight cut, thanks to the teeth configuration. The pros of this gear is that it's cheap to make, has a high efficiency compared to the helico. But the cons is that it's louder, high speed, and it's not as smooth. The second one is the helico. Again, thanks to the uh, teeth configuration. The pros is that it's smooth and quiet. It lasts longer compared to the spur. But the cons is more expensive. It has an axle load and it has lower efficiency. The last one, the herringbone, has pretty much the benefits, or most of the benefits of the helico and most of the benefits of the spur, which is smooth and quiet, lasts longer. Both of these like the helico and it has also high efficiency, exactly like the spur. The con is that out of this is the most expensive gear drive that you can make.
And that is the reason why we choose the Herringbone gears. We want to use the best and we think our customers should have the best. We're gonna make another video uh, more in details about this gearbox and how to service it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new video.